Alrighty, let's check this out. There's no sounds. Kaka. <laughs> Somebody's nose. Expecting a kaka. I do like that beginning a lot here. Love that. I love that it comes in a curve. I like that it comes back. I think we could instead of coming out like that, kind of streamline. Okay, no, no, not like out like this, but a bit, a bit cleaner in those lines. It's a bit more graphic, but then I do like. I think we are coming. We're slowing down maybe a bit too fast. This is literally like four frames or so, but I will have these guys or just have to slow down happen later or bring the wings out a bit sooner. Just a bit. It's really tiny. But of course, the more I watch it, the more I get used to it. Just tiny, tiny, tiny. I feel like a slight slowdown a bit too soon as this comes down here. Love this. Love this. Why? Because we have the stopping of the momentum, right? With offset pose and then asymmetrical shapes of the wings, body kind of staying put and, and that momentum continuing this way with the lower body and the tail. Like that's a great moment right through there. Then careful. Then we're going back into whoops, one axis. Everything's very straight. The tail goes up and down in one axis. Uh, the wings are going down and up. Shape-wise, the same. Uh, Timing-wise, the same. There's no offset. So I would tweak. I give this kind of organic awesomeness, love, to all of this here. Careful, this one. There's something where the character goes up but then it's kind of it's kind of stuck in that angle i think you can kind of put a little bit more with that angle but then it's this a the shape of this this feels needlessly complicated i think i would smooth this down to a bend at the end with the membrane up just because of uh the resistance like this just feels too broken and then at the end here again we're we could smoother with the tip is then reversing and then here's where you can start bending things. So to have less wind, uh, wind resistance in there, then you can start bending these a bit more. It's fine. So what I was saying here is that character goes up and then here feels weird because A, the body is mostly in the same position. I see some moving down here, but it's mostly the same. And also feels like it's just kind of hovering forward. So it doesn't have that up and then drop. Like this would be up and then we already be rotate down and drop a bit sooner same thing here this feels like we're going up hit a wall and then we just float straight this one's a bit too slow that one this feels like it goes through swamp water definitely faster and then you want to go up and lead with those upper sections here so that we have more of a bend like that in the in the wings and you want to just move maybe the membrane over so we understand that a bit better so it's not with this i don't tricky with this but this is an odd silhouette and then this feels weird because now we're going to do like a frog cowboy cowboy riding something here pose with the legs i'll bring those knees in and Keep it a bit more animalistic. Not to say they some animals can't do that, but this just feels very odd. A bit to twin almost as well. It's just a bit of an odd shape. And then same thing here, still with that tail, where it starts to just be really low for a long time. And I think we can break from the weight and what it, you know, maybe a realistic creature would do. Who knows? But I will bring this into like a nice silhouette where you have a nice curvature in that tail. Even through here, through the strain, maybe, you know, the muscle, the tail is up. And then so that we don't have this happening where we are like, what is this? Like a third leg? Like what's going on? That's just an odd, odd pose here. And then that way on that landing, imagine you have something where, again, this was this was like a human landing. That's my other thing. Instead of going so far back, I think you can easily have upper body a bit more forward. Legs could be just, you know, higher up there. The head can still be up there, but it, there's, a, there's a forward lean to this. 
And this just feels like weirdly squirrel landing like a human in, in a dragon costume. So to me, it's more like you're, you're around like this area and even then bring that neck up if you can. A nice little shape there, less of a like that, softer if possible. But something where if that tail was still up here, right? A nice shape on that impact. Now the tail will come down. A nice impact in the tail because to me it seems like it's just hanging and then it's just kind of there. There's nothing going on there. It's like now it meshes with the silhouette of that leg, which also feels a bit odd. And then watch out at the end, this section feels really locked. Like it's really holding on tightly. To me, it's more like, well, this would hold on tightly. You can bring those fingers back into maybe something where you hold on to this, but this could be in. You see it is here, maybe with a rotation up a little bit, with a membrane down a little bit. Something so that when this is happening, which again, this is in one axis, which is a bit odd. I think we can get that into a bit more of a complicated rotation sooner into profile. And through all of that, there might be a twist in here, which in turn changes that arm, which in turn moves the, the wings around a little bit. This feels this feels like we're we're they're just kind of long for the ride, but not doing much. And this is just select, select, rotate back in one axis and stop. I know there's more because I see the angle change in here. It's just generally how it feels like. Alrighty. That's that. But I would say this is awesome. <sighs> love this. It's that kind of stuff that I would love to see more applied through all of this here into that ending as well. Alrighty. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.